Oh, there's a fly in here. I, my, I'm shedding like crazy. How's my hair? I don't know. Got too much lotion on my hands. My favorites. I want to know how I look like. Do I look stupid? It sounded like I just have so much saliva. Let's see. Ooh, my lips are overdrawn. my monthly favorites. I do have a lot of things I want to talk about, some new goodies. Majority is actually skincare, which I've been really into, so that's a good thing. And some things I got as gifts that I really do like too. So let's just go ahead and get started. Well, my name is Alicia. For those who are just tuning in and welcome back to everybody else. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. It would mean the world to me. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys can be notified when I have new videos posted. And don't forget, I will have a upcoming giveaway so you might want to stick around for that. <laughs> Right, guys so in no particular order I'm actually gonna talk about these guys here these are actually Sephora collection lip story lipsticks and I did a whole demo and review which was my first video of the year on these beautiful gorgeous inexpensive lovable wearing lipsticks Wow that was really really long I actually have a really good friend who's a specialist for this company and we were able to play around with these. I made a custom lipstick. This one here just says my name, basically my business logo. And then the second one here is my wedding picture. It's kind of hard to see, but it's just basically all of us here. It's a horizontal picture basically and we just wrapped it around and that is the lipstick and it's really cute because they are customizable. So shout out to Lawrence. Thanks again for letting me test out these little customizable lipsticks. This here guys, this is the Ole Hendrickson banana eye cream. So not only is it just a regular eye cream, of course it's orange. So meaning vitamin C, a lot of brightening properties and also has collagen booster in here. So it actually helps with tightening and firming the skin. I like the luminosity that it gives. It's really nice because I'm still trying to figure out if it smells like banana or not. Yeah, slightly does, but it's nice because it does give a nice luminosity. You see that? It just reflects really nicely right there. So if you really want that highlighted area to be popping, put this on under, or if you're just wearing it at nighttime and you just really want to saturate the skin around there, this will be a good product. Also helps with discoloration. Toner guys, this is my ultimate current favorite toner. This is by Fresh. This is the Rose Floral Toner. You can use this as a setting spray before and after your makeup. Once again, the the rose is going to be a brightening property in this formulation, but it also hydrates and refreshes your skin. I really like this nozzle here because as you see, I sprayed my face, now my hair is wet. I like this nozzle here because it actually does give a generous amount of spray when you're spraying it so you don't have to overload your face. But I would hold it from afar because it does spray a little bit strong. Even though if it sprays out strong, it's nice. Just hold it from afar so that way it just coats your face nice and evenly. If you hold it too close, it's just gonna really be concentrated on those certain areas. So might as well just spray it three times from afar and it just coats your face and decollete and neck evenly. Carez. I don't know if you guys heard of this brand. This is actually one of the 100 point perks that I got from Sephora. Carez is a really nice brand. I love this moisturizer because it's gel based and it's good for combo skin. So not only for myself, my husband can use it. So this will also be good to keep in your kit because some of your clients who may be combo skin may not want the full on cream-ish moisturizer type on their skin, especially when you're using makeup. A gel base will kind of balance it out so it's a little bit lighter. Although gel moisturizers are normally transparent, still gives a nice texture and feel as a gel based moisturizer and it's pomegranate scented another skincare product this has been my current sunscreen at the moment this is by Mirad it's their environmental shield SPF 50 plus 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 I mean four pluses so it's gonna protect you from the pollution the toxin the UVA B rays everything anti-aging and also brightening so right here says city skin. So basically it's going to tell you you're going to be protected when you're out there in the sun, in the outdoors for again, for the pollution and toxin. What's really nice about this is that it is a mineral sunscreen. It's super lightweight. There's no oils in this. There's a, 
slight, slight tint, but I wouldn't say it's like a strong tint like my Clarins. It's super lightweight still. And it doesn't give you too much of a color, just a slight, slight sheen. So I actually have been trying a new skincare brand, which is by Ren Skincare. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with it. They sell it at Sephora's. I'm unsure if they sell it at Ulta's. They may, don't quote me, I'm not too sure. My colleague who works for this company has given me a bunch of samples and I've been loving it. So I actually did not know that this is a vegan cruelty-free line, as she said. Not a all of it, but I think majority of them are. And it is based in the UK. This is very gentle on my skin, as I told my colleague that I'm so sensitive to harsh products that I can't use strong things. So most of my skincare is all on the natural, kind of basic, kind of gentle side, because again, I'm just really scared. I broke out using serums in like harsh scrubs before, so it just actually scared me. Especially with the Clarisonic, I am so sensitive to that, even the most delicate, brush head, it does not work for me. Anyways, so I've been using this alone and together. This is just their moisturizer day cream. And this one here is like a boost that you can put into here, kind of like a serum. This is the day cream that I've been using. So I can actually use it alone. Or if I feel like I need an extra boost, this is where the boost comes into play. And I thought that the boost was gonna be like a serum and very thin like, but it actually is more like a moisturizer texture. I'll just kind of mix them together or if I really feel that I have really concentrated areas that I need to focus on, I'll put the boost on first, let it tack out because I want it to really penetrate all the layers of my skin. And then I'll seal the deal with that moisturizer on top. A lot of times I've been using this one, as you can see, I've used a lot of it already. It may not seem like a lot, but it's a pretty thick formulation, so I don't need a lot. Now this is called the perfect canvas. This is kind of like a serum. I don't know if you can see that. This is basically like a serum priming product for skincare than makeup, but it does make a difference. So again, I can mix this with my daily moisturizer. See, it's just clear. Or I can wear this alone or use it as a primer step by step with the next products I use. But I like the tackiness of this because again, I know that it's really working in the layers on my skin, but also when I apply on the next product, it's gonna really adhere onto my skin. So I've been really crazy on Sephora's new skincare. They have these new wipes and they smell so good. They have watermelon, which is just a regular cleansing wipe. And they also have the papaya, which is an exfoliator wipe. I'm actually going camping next month and I'm gonna take these with me or maybe not because if I'm gonna be out there and there's like bears and stuff, I really don't wanna take too many scented things with us to attract them. But I know when you go camping, you can kind of like lock everything up in this little wooden thing. I don't know, every campsite's different, but I don't know about this one, so I'm not sure. But they are very easy to use on the go, very gentle. They don't contain any alcohol, which is a plus. In addition to that, I have these guys. I've talked about this one in my Summer's Essential Kit. So if you guys haven't seen it, I talk about a few items here and in there and a whole bunch of sunscreen products that I recommend for you guys to take with you when you guys go to the beach or like on a trip. So I'll put that link down below for you guys. So this one here is a Sephora collection, also watermelon flavored or scent. And this is the after sun mask. So you can apply it onto your face and also to your decollete because that's where the sun really beams onto your skin. So you might wanna cool down that skin so it doesn't get sunburned. So these are the Sephora collection lip balms and I've actually went through two of these already. So this is my third one, but the new one that I got is the watermelon. So I purchased this one along with the wipes that day and I was like, it's just so... So I purchased these the same time I got the wipes, but I know I'm not going to use this one. I'm just going to let it sit on my vanity and just smell it time to time. <laughs> but the almond scent, I again went through a few of them and I do like this. So another side note, I went to LA for a wedding and I did post up a few vlogs already of that. I think the episode three should be the newest one that be posting shortly by the time you guys see this. So when I went to downtown Disney, my main mission was to get dog tags for my dog because the last time we got it for him was maybe, I don't know, so many years ago. I think that was like one of our Disney trips. Oh, it was our Disney trip before we got tofu. What a perfect timing. This guy was scratching my leg. He was like, I wanna be in the video. <laughs> Cause he knows, you wanna go guy guy? 
Okay, that was so mean. We're not going anywhere because mommy has to go to work. <laughs> so gai gai means like to go out in Chinese. If some of you guys are wondering. Basically, our family trip to Disneyland was with my nieces, my mom and brother, and of course my husband. And we got Tofu a dog tag, which is a really old one. And I guess he scuffed it up so much that the writing and everything is just worn out. You don't even see the Mickey anymore. So the new ones that they have are really nice because the pictures is actually on one side. So this is how they look like. It's really, really cute. As you can see, this is what he currently wears. And on the back is just our information. I'm not gonna show you because for privacy, but basically the back is all silver and then you can carve on there. So that way, even though if this kind of comes off, the back part, which is embroidered, won't rub off too. So that's really cool. So since I was there, I was like, I'm gonna buy two because there's like literally only one kiosk. Outside of Downtown Disney, by the tram that takes you to Tomorrowland, right the next few kiosks over there if you guys are interested, and you'll see it in one of my vlogs too. So the last things I have is actually gifts that I got from my friends. Funny, because four groups of our friends actually went to Japan to, of course, Disneyland, like maybe a week or two after each other or overlapping, but it was just so funny. So anyways, they got me a few gifts there and I was like so, so excited. Oh, and there's eyelashes stuck to there. Let's take that out. So my friend got me this little mask that I haven't used yet. So I'm going to save this for like an airplane ride or actually I'm not going to save it for airplane ride. I need to use this. So maybe I'll use this on like another get ready with me or a nighttime routine that needs to be updated. So stick around for that guys. He also got me this really cool thing. So basically it came in this little a plastic tube, kind of like those little candy jar. You know, when you're a kid, you put a cord in there and this thing pops out. This is basically it. And he got me the cutest one. Oh, what happened to the lid? The cutest thing ever. It's a Canon camera, just like what I'm filming on. And I think you can take out this lens and pop it in here. Look how cute that is. Take a picture, Tofu. <laughs> I wish you can actually open it and like see through it. That would be really cute. Oh, look at that. That's even better. Now you can actually see that there's a lens there. <laughs> the last item I have, my other girlfriend got me something and it's a little keychain. It had a ring on here, but I was gonna put it on my keychain, but I don't want it to get it dirty and I really love this minty color as she knows. It's basically a little Mickey macaroon. Look how cute that is. And it has a little like pearls on here. So I'm actually not gonna put this on my keychain, which I really, really want to, because I know it's gonna get dirty so fast, but I'm gonna hang this in my car. I had to wait to film this video before putting this back in the car, otherwise I'm gonna forget to share this. But anyways, that's it right there. All right guys, that is it for my monthly favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, comment below. I wanna know what your current favorites are, what I should try out next. I've been loving, loving skincare as I mentioned. So if you guys have any skincare recommendations from anywhere, it doesn't have to be Sephora, anywhere, I'm down to try it because I'm always really into skincare and I've been really into sunscreen a lot more. As each summer's been going by, I mean, we're not getting any younger, so I do need to use like stronger products and stuff. So I'm open for suggestions. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate you tuning in every last day of the month for my monthly favorites. All right, guys, if you guys enjoy this, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. All right, see you later. Bye. Oh, someone wants to say bye. Bye. <laughs> kiss, kiss, mommy. See you guys later. Bye.